I've been getting a lot of questions about this uh, product I just bought for my fiance called the Air Mouse. It's very simple, it's basically a wireless mouse that looks like a remote and the coolest thing about it is it has a QWERTY keyboard right there on the back. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the remote as best I know. As you can see, I've got my recording over here and I've got the monitors recording over here. So you'll see me moving right here and then you'll see the mouse move over here. Basically, you just move it around. The gyro sensor detects tilts up and then moving it left to right. Not so much turning it like a Wii maybe. You can move it around. You have a backwards and forwards a seek backwards and forwards and a skip backwards and forwards. Primarily that is only on media files you have on your computer, not so much say Netflix or YouTube. You got a search icon, which basically say I want to go onto a web page. It's not so it's not so much about where you point it, it's just how you point it. You're basically controlling where the mouse goes, not so much a laser sight. So you know, I can see the mouse here. You all see it on the screen in the middle there. And I'll just move it left. And I'm actually gonna go to, you know, I'm gonna hit the OK button to go to Amazon. Now, the search button, this will, when on a web page, this will bring up your find on page uh, text. So you see it says audible. If I type in A U D I B L E with the QWERTY keyboard on the back, it'll highlight that. So like, like it's having a um, find on page. It's got a play button. This is best used in your This is best used in a media player, so I'm going to pull up one of my videos here. So you've got pause, play, you know, you seek back or forward, skip. Now, quick disclaimer. Not all buttons are compatible with, say, right now, Windows 7. They may be program specific or not. Let's go back to my browser. Now on the blue line on it, left icon, it's kind of a menu. That's basically, if you're on a text document and you want to copy and paste, okay, let's say type in buck. Now, if I wanted to copy that, I double click the OK, hit the menu, and then, then copy. Now, I've copied it. I can then hit the menu again, paste, there, paste it. Um, if you're on a browser and want to go back to your home page, you hit the home button right there. If you want to right click, find your mouse, you hit the far right button. That will right click wherever your mouse is. Certain programs will allow you to select around using the arrow pad. You've got volume up and down that goes through your computer, page up and down, go back to Amazon. And if you hit page down, it'll scroll one page down page up. There is a mute button, mute your computer. There is a mouse power, which basically will turn your mouse off. If you don't want to make sure nothing gets moved or anything. Go ahead, turn it back on. And once again, I love pointing it out, the QWERTY keyboard is phenomenal. You can, you have an alt button that as you can see, 
that's blue and then all these other blue icons so if i were to hit let's see let's go back to the browser and on the qwerty keyboard if you hit alt you're in alt mode now it has www at symbol numbers question mark exclamation mark pound sign dollar sign basically your shift keys on the number keys at the top and also an at and a dot com that's about it i use it on my home theater pc in the living room for streaming movies off of our server and uh, netflix it's great if you're a teacher because the distance is 10 meters or 30 feet which should reach halfway across your classroom most living rooms should be perfectly fine and i'm going to put an amazon affiliates link down in the description if you want to check it out if you buy through that link it will help out my channel and i would be greatly appreciative so that's everything i know about this air mouse if you find out anything else let me know in the comments down below hey thanks for watching my video you check out more over here on the right and before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button right below. It helps me a lot. Thanks again. Have a good day.